Taking breakouts is tricky, but this strategy does it. I designed it about eight months ago. Been watching it and designed it in this time frame right here. It's broken out to the upside. A lot of trades. Nice average trade profit, 91.62, 44.37, 50 drawdown. This this test is back to 9.14, It is long only. Again, um, love the average trade profit. It, it does hold trades overnight, and it does have a $1,000 stop loss and a thousand dollar profit target that has not been optimized very very another very very basic strategy so I've always enjoyed taking breakouts in my trades uh, it's not that easy and especially on a day trade basis you kinda have to hold it overnight in this strategy to get that additional move and so I'm gonna show you I want to show you the results of the strategy back to September 2009 and then we're gonna go back even further so that way you have the full picture of how this strategy works. We like it. We like it from this point forward. It's based on a short run. But it does work well the past 10 years, and it works well before 2000, actually. So I'm going to show you that. Here it is, back to 2009. A good upward equity curve. You see this period of time. Um, I like to show how, I like to talk about how strategies can go cold or sideways for periods of time. You see a period of time here where it went sideways. Um, you see that every green dot is an equity peak. So beginning of 2000 or 12, December 2011, um, the last equity peak before that was May of 2011. So there was about a, a seven month period of time between equity peaks. There's a little drawdown there. And then in this time period, um, you're talking about August of 2014 all the way to um, July of 2016. So strategies can go through periods of time for two years where there's no equity peaks. And so that's why we like diversity. And this strategy has good statistics for a swing trade strategy. That's a good number for a drawdown, 10,737.50. Average trade profit is $60. That's good, 1,300 trades, total net profit. This is a basic e mini S&P strategy. It's really, really simple. Uh, you definitely know that this one is not optimized because the rules are, are just a couple of rules. A thousand dollar stop loss, thousand dollar profit target, no optimization. And so if you test it, it is long only, so if you test it before 2009, it's not as good. And I'm going to show you the full picture of that as well. This is a strategy that we put in the portfolios and we included the entire time frame from 2007 forward in the time frame in the portfolios. And I'm going to show you the results back to 1997. So here are the results back to 1997. You see how breakouts worked when I when I first began trading was back way back in this time period. Breakouts worked, and then from 2000 until about 2009, um, long side breakouts did not work. This is a long only strategy. So if you just test the long side breakouts, they didn't really work that well for about a decade. And then now um, with the with the Federal Reserve's monetary policy, long only trades breakouts tend to work pretty well and so you see this nice equity curve trend back to 2009 and we include we include the um, complete equity curve in the portfolio back test to 2007 and so it includes this drawdown right here in the um, initial equity curve and so we're not biasing it by only showing um, the period of time for which it works the best um, the period of time for which it works best is when fed when the fed started raising interest rates again at, at the end of 2015 um, this is the time period for which it's worked best and it continues to work since that time period for almost four years now so we like this approach for the portfolios the 60-minute e-mini S&P breakout strategy